your questions to Peter at WLIP.com. And the first one here asks us about natural immunity, including some foods that might help boost natural immunity. Sherry, what, uh, what are some of those foods? Yeah, so um, first, I think it's important to understand, you know, how the body and how it really regulates and enhances the immune system. You know, 80% of the immune cells sit in the gut. So it's really super important that you kind of take care of your gut. So that's eating healthy. That's prebiotics, probiotics um, are super duper important for the immune system. But more specifically to foods, um, I would say fruits and vegetables, you know, citrus, citrus fruits are really high in vitamin C. Most people know that vitamin C is um, really helpful for the immune system. So that would be like lemons, limes, grapefruit, red peppers, you know, it's like vegetables, broccoli, garlic, green tea is really helpful. So those would be some of like the top ones. Um, But I would say, again, you know, it is, again, we're always looking, going to the foundation, right? And the foundation is really healthy lifestyle, healthy gut, and doing, you know, the right things most of the time. I mean, I always liken it to your vehicle. You put the right fuel, you change the oil, you get the tires rotated, you do all the regular maintenance, and it's going to do what it's supposed to do for for a long time. And your body is much the same way. If you do what you're supposed to do, um, you're not going to be as susceptible to some of these things, these diseases, these pitfalls that you otherwise would be. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's kind of like, you know, if you are suffering with gut issues, you know, autoimmunity, things like that, it's going to, it's probably not going to matter as much of some of the things that you're eating because the foundation, you know, hasn't been laid down. So yeah, I mean, not that it's not that it's not helpful. But again, it's always important to acknowledge that because that's kind of what we're all about. It's like fixing the root issues, and then everything else kind of works itself out. I want to get to a question, too, because this harkens back to one of my first appointments at Wayless MD and Wellness, and that's reading food labels, which I guess I, I had thought that was pretty straightforward. You go on there and you look at the calories, and you look at the calories from fat, and then there's all those different percentages, and eh, who knows what that is. But um, this person wants to know about how to actually read food labels, and should they just look at the calories in there, or is there more to it? Yeah, I mean, you know, this this is a little more complicated than a simplified answer for sure. But, you know, of course, I'm going to be, you know, sarcastic and say if you're reading a label, you're not eating real food, right? Because if you're eating real foods, there's no labels. Um, but if you are, because we all do, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, we need to be eating whole foods all the time. But if you are looking at the label, the first thing is look at the ingredient list. If you see a list that goes like half of the way down the package, then don't even go to the to the nutrient uh, panel because you've already you already know it's not going to be healthy. Now, if you are looking at the macronutrients, meaning the protein, the carbs, um, you know that that nutrition label. I would say the most important part is looking for added sugars. So you're going to have you know sh- you're going to have carbohydrates, added sugars. If there's added sugars then it's not a good product because that's processed sugar that they're adding in addition to what what is already in there. So um, I would say to keep it really simple, look at ingredients and look for any added sugars. Always understand that carbohydrates immediately turn to sugar in your body as well. So it's if it's a really high carbohydrate um, product, then it's probably not it's probably not great. Yeah, I, I know one of the things that I started looking at right away was added sugar, and it's shocking when you think how many grams of added sugar are in some of these yeah. some of these yeah. products. I mean, uh, so that brings us to uh, this last question, and we got just about a minute or so, Sherry. But uh, she says uh, this person says I've heard you say you should have multiple colors on your plate, Sherry. What does that mean? Yeah, multiple colors means you're not just eating a bland diet, meaning you're not just having like the carby stuff, the pasta, the rice, the potatoes, you know, that's a beige diet. That's very bad for you. A colorful diet is fruits and vegetables. You know, you have red peppers, yellow peppers, green broccoli, you know, that's what it means by adding adding color to your plate. Really so important to get fruits and vegetables um, every single day. Plus, it's more interesting to look at while you're eating it. I mean, let's, let's be real. <laughs> Peter at WLIP.com. Get your health and wellness questions in for Sherry Stoka, Wayless MD and Wellness People. 
I uh, want to get in touch with you, make a risk-free appointment for Way Less MD. How can they do that, Sherry? Yeah, well, they can now schedule on our website. So you can go to our website at waylessmd.com um, or give us a call at 262-226-2046. Sherry, always appreciate your time and your knowledge. We'll catch up with you next Wednesday morning. Awesome. Thanks, Pete.